Hello, 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 OMG. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn coming at you with a new weekly video, and I'm going to be working mainly in my kitchen today. I need to do a big reset on my kitchen. I still had my candy tray out from Christmas, which finally is empty. <laughs> uh, and um, I just need to figure out how I want to decorate this area for spring. But first, I need to get it all cleaned up. And just in case you notice, yes, I sound very stuffed up once again, OMG. I will kind of explain that in a second. I'm going to work on this little area over here first, but my whole kitchen needs a reset. If you are new and you just found me, I am so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down in the comments. I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to, to another video. Definitely feel free to say hello to me as well. Look at how dirty that rag is. I'm just cleaning this area up with... Uh, dish soap and water. Uh, and I knew it was going to be dirty because I have my plants and stuff up here and I'm sure some dirt and stuff gets spilled up there. But this whole area just kind of needs a deep clean. So that's what I'm going to focus on first and then kind of give it some a spring look. So I told you a couple weeks ago that I planned on bringing you some bonus videos on Fridays where I was doing like some deep cleaning or some spring cleaning because I really got a lot of cleaning to catch up on. Um, doing one, just focusing on one room because I just work best that way. And I had hoped to bring you a video last Friday, but that did not happen. So uh, Grayson, her husband, and EJ were going to Florida for a family member's wedding. Just in case you're new, you don't know who any of those people are. <laughs> I always forget. I just think everybody already knows because I've talked about my family so much. Grayson is my oldest daughter. She's 26. She's married. She has two babies. I am a grandma of two awesome, awesome grandkids. And then um, my middle daughter, Viviana, is 15. And my youngest daughter, Donna Jean, is 13. So one of Grayson's husbands, his cousin, was getting married. And EJ was in the wedding. And so the three of them were going to go to Florida. And she had asked if I would watch Violet. So, of course, I said yes. I said one of Grayson's husbands. <laughs> I'm going to blame that on the cold. She only has one husband. She's only ever had one husband. Her husband's cousin was getting married. So he actually went out a few days before Grayson and EJ, my grandson, were going to go to Florida. So I was going to have Violet Thursday through Sunday um, when Grayson was leaving. And, ugh. Both of the babies got sick. And EJ has certain medications he cannot take. Uh, you can see how dang dirty the trash bin is, of course, because it gets trash put in it all of the time. So I'm going to get this all cleaned out. I got all behind it, all dusted out and cleaned out as well. Um, so anyways, he they did a rapid strep test which showed positive, and they gave him a medication, and the pharmacist warned Grayson that it was really awful tasting. Anyways, it made EJ puke, and then he couldn't stop puking, and she ended up having to take him to the hospital because uh, he was getting dehydrated. And so anyways, I was basically at Grayson's house every single day last week. Then Violet got sick. She was like, I'm not going to go. And I was like, no, you have to go. This is a family. As long as you and EJ are okay by Thursday, I will be fine with Violet. She's just got a little cold or a little virus. It's fine. This trash cabinet, like, I absolutely love it. I got it from Amazon. If I can find it, I've had it for, like, a year. I'll link it. Um, but this, this little drawer, like, flips out, and it's really dirty behind it, so I was trying to figure out how to get it out. I forgot it had little hinges on the front. I thought it was just going to pull out, but it folds down, which gives me access to clean the very dirty area inside of here. And then I sucked up something that clogged up my vacuum, so I had to pull that out. 
So anyways, I planned on having Violet Thursday through Sunday, um, and I was at Grayson's Monday through Thursday helping her. I felt so just terrible. She was so stressed out. That's just, It's just so hard when both of your kids get sick at the same time and your husband's out of town. So I was there every day helping, um, making sure that she was able to get the kids to bed good. It was so, I was just so busy and I'm so incredibly grateful that we live close to each other and I have a flexible enough schedule that I can do that. And it, it was wonderful, even though my grandbabies were sick, uh, it was just wonderful having all of that extra time with them. So they did end up going to Florida. They had a great time. Uh, Violet was just an angel for me. She has a little cold or something. Well, anyways, guess who ended up catching the little cold or something that both the kids have? Grandma. <laughs> After EJ had come home from the hospital from getting IV fluids, he felt so much better. Look at how clean this is now. Um, and Violet, they, they both are on the mend and just about all well. And then, you know, of course, I got it. So now I'm I'm dealing with this little cold, but my grandbabies are worth it. And you're going to get to see a cute little clip of Violet May uh, while I had her. So I got no extra cleaning done last week. Uh, it was a very busy week. I only got part of my kitchen even done before Violet came to stay with me for the weekend. So you're going to see this video. It took me a whole dang week to get this dang room reset. And I only did a little bit of deep cleaning and a teeny little bit of decorating for spring. But that's just what happens, you know, when you have young kids or you have uh, grandbabies and uh, people need ya. So I'm not changing anything around in this area as far as my plants go. I feel like plants are definitely, they just bring life to a space and I love my plants. Y'all know that if you've been with me for a while. I do have these three cookbooks. My mom has got them all for me. I did have them displayed on the shelf, set up, but they kept on falling over. So I got this little um, holder and I'm just gonna display them like this so that it gives a little bit more height and they're not going to fall over. And then my husband bought me this beautiful, beautiful bouquet of flowers for Valentine's Day. It only has a couple more days left. But I'm going to set it here. I really like it here. So maybe I'll just continue getting some bouquets of fresh flowers to go over here for the spring and summer. Or maybe once I start growing my flowers outside, I'll bring in some cut flowers um, to display. What was it, a week, two weeks ago that I repotted my anthurium and my pothos? They both seem to be doing wonderful. So it's always a little nerve-wracking when you have to repot plants. Uh, I did order this print from Etsy. I thought it was so cute. Kind of a spring and Easter display. So I just put this in an 8x10 frame. And I'm going to put this up on the shelf. I'm going to leave this candle up here. And then if you caught my video last week, I had this little white bunny and little white duck that I tried in my family room and I didn't like it. Uh, so I think I'm just going to put them right out here. And this will complete this little area. It looks very spring-like now. And uh, I love how it turned out. So before I had a bare shelf, I had still Christmas decor up here, and now this is what it looks like, and I absolutely love it. It's a picture holder is what I put um, the cookbook in, and I just got it from Amazon. All right, so we got that area deep cleaned and um, decorated for spring, and my like I said, my whole kitchen needs a ding reset. I just have stuff everywhere. The counters aren't terrible, but they're filled. I got stuff on the floor. Uh, if you didn't know, I am an extreme couponer, so a lot of this stuff is from couponing that I have to put in its spot. And look at that. I still, I forgot I had my Christmas rug still up. So we're going to take care of these paper products. Anything that was on the table is because I just recently filmed a video for couponing. Um, and it was products that I just got. So all of my paper products go in the uh, garage. So I'm going to get these all put away in the garage. Then we'll get all of the stuff taken downstairs. 
if you are in the United States and you are interested at all in learning how to coupon, I mainly do the drugstores for couponing. My couponing channel is always linked down in the description box. Uh, couponing in this day and age is so much easier than it used to be because it's mainly you can just do all digital. The stores give you a free app and they give you digital coupons. And I do a lot of all digital deals that anybody can do. I mean, you could save 50% on your laundry products just by starting out, which is just fantastic. So like I said, if you're in the United States, because couponing is not available like that anywhere else, uh, go check that go check out my couponing channel if you would like to. You know, I have a rule when I'm donating something, it needs to get out of my house. Otherwise, it will sit around and be clutter in other ways. Well, I had that little basket and a couple little bags of things I haven't taken out. So I put it by the door so I can get it out of the house today. It's not very often you see me fold laundry. <laughs> I'm not even sure. I must have had to do a load of laundry on this day. My husband does 90% of our laundry, um, which is awesome. And we do a load of day, or he does a load a day. That just works good for us. But I don't know. I must have had to do some laundry, so I'm going to fold this basket of towels real quick. And even though I threw in a load of laundry, he's so used to doing laundry every single day that he, even if I did it, he'll come home and still do a load of laundry. Before I get to the island, I'm going to go ahead and get to uh, these counters back here against the sink. Get these all cleared off. Do a teeny little bit of decorating for spring. Somehow, either I didn't film the, the new products that I was putting up or the products that I had up previously. Um... Or I erased the footage. I'm not sure. So you're going to see me clean off these counters. And then I'll just show you what decor I put up for spring on these counters. So I would love to hear what's going on in your world. Are you working on any projects in your house right now? What's happening with you? Are you getting excited to get outside and do some planting? Do you do a flower garden or a vegetable garden or anything like that? Definitely feel free to share anything you would like to down in the comments with me. I always get inspired when I hear what's going on in your guys' world. So I wanted to give you an update. I've been kind of sharing with you uh, Viviana's bowling. So she's on the varsity team. Their bowling season is coming to an end. And they actually just had regionals. It was a little bit of a bummer for me um, because they had regionals when I had Violet. But I had committed to keeping Violet before I even knew when the regionals were for bowling. So unfortunately, I was not able to watch her bowl for her regionals. Um, but my husband was there and, you know, was texting me the updates and everything. Well, here's the footage of me putting up the decor. I don't know why I thought I, like, got rid of it. But <laughs> here it is. It's not very much. I did get a new picture from Hobby Lobby that I incorporated over there and I used the same lamp and um, I had got that little um, faux plant from Goodwill like over a year ago and so I put that back out. I had that up last spring. So anyways, Viviana had bowling on regionals were Friday and Saturday. Friday was team regional and Saturday was individual regional. So for team regional, the top three teams move on to state. And I am so darn excited for these girls because they made it to state as a team. Oh my gosh. So, you know, it's Viviana's first year on a varsity bowling team as a freshman and her team is going to state. She was so excited. I was so excited. My husband was so excited. So that'll be coming up this week that they bowl. And then Saturday was, like I said, individual. And the top, there was 70 bowlers. The top eight moved on individually to state. And I've been sharing with you the whole time how Viviana really was struggling. Like she had a new ball. She was learning a new approach, all of that good stuff. And then all of the sudden, everything started clicking and her pin count was going way up. 
I had no expectations that she would finish in the top eight out of 70 bowlers, um, and she did not. But you guys, I am so, so proud of her. Out of 70 bowlers, she finished 21st. There's more to the story. We're going to take a quick break to see my cutie patootie, Little Violet May. You're doing a really good job. Help. You need help? But you were doing it. Help. Okay, I help. There you go. Good job. We have an ice cream at 10 a.m. Hershey. What? Hershey. Hershey's? Yes. <laughs> no, don't put your fingers in it. I mean, there is no way she said Hershey's, but that was the only thing I could think that she was saying. I think in my mind, I was thinking, oh, vanilla ice cream with, with some Hershey's on top sounds good. <laughs> Isn't she so darn cute? Yep. That was Thursday morning. I brought her to my house and it was 10 a.m. and she asked me for ice cream. <laughs> and so I gave her some ice cream. So this is now Monday. I had her Thursday through Sunday, and the kitchen is even messier than it was before. There was a lot of little things that she was finding um, that she would bring to me that I would set up on the counter. Uh, so anyways, we're going to get this kitchen all reset and cleaned up. So Viviana finished 21st out of 70 girl bowlers. Um, girls and boys are separate. And then I started looking at the stat sheet and I said, Viviana, do you realize there are only, out of those 70 varsity bowlers, there are only 17 of them that are freshmen. And you finished third out of the freshman bowlers. Like, I am absolutely blown away. And here is the super duper exciting part. So there was a guy standing by my husband basically the whole time, and he was there watching a bowler from another school um, that was bowling right next to um, my daughter's school. And he kept also looking at one of the girls on Viviana's team. She's a senior, and she is a very, very good bowler. She's been bowling for many, many years, and she's very, very good. And so he was, like, kind of asking my husband about her. And then he, my husband would, like, it's a just a jam-packed room when these tournaments are happening. And so he'd kind of, like, move in front of the guy so he could watch Viviana bowl. And he'd be like, sorry, I'm, you know, I'm trying to watch my daughter. And um, the guy was like, her form is really good. I mean, I can't see too much that I would – improve on her and my husband said she's just a freshman and the guy was like are you kidding me pulls out his card he is a head coach for a university and was there scouting for girl bowlers apparently there are lots of scholarship money available especially for girls in bowling and gave my husband his card with his phone number and everything and said he wants to keep on top of Viviana's bowling career throughout high school. I I am just so, so darn excited for her and so proud of her that even when she was struggling. She just kept practicing and she just she just continues to get better and better. So this week I get to go watch her team uh, play for state and crossing my fingers. Send me all your good bowling wishes that maybe they win state. That would be so darn exciting. So anyways, those are the updates for what's been going on with me. I had a busy week with the grandbabies and uh, Viviana's bowling season is just about coming to an end and it's it's just ending so awesomely. So I got all my papers cleaned up. I'm filing away what I need to file away and then shredding what I needed to shred so I can get that counter cleared off. At the end of the video, we're going to have a little uh, outside 
plant update or flower update, which I was so, so excited about. So can't wait to share that with you. Uh, my shredder got a little full. I had to push down the papers and then papers flew out everywhere. So I just had to vacuum that little bit up. Uh, I'm going to take care of Violet's seat and the extra chair that we brought in here for meal times while she was here. Uh, I already cleaned off the booster seat, but the chair was <laughs> chocked full of food, so I had to clean that off. I'm going to take the rugs. I got this one more for like a fall. It's warmer, darker colors. I'm going to take these outside and shake them off. And then get rid of the Christmas rug. I'm going to shake that off as well. And I'm going to throw it in both of these in the washing machine. And if you've been with me for a while, you know that I'm absolutely terrible at mopping my floors. And uh, my poor little Violet May uh, had very dirty feet from walking around on Grandma's dirty hardwood floor. <laughs> I meant to do it before she came, uh, but I just got busy with helping um, Grayson with EJ and Violet, and so it did not get done, so my little Violet May had dirty feet. They always, Grayson only has hardwood in her house, so the kids never have socks on. Um, when they're inside the house because it, it can be a slipping hazard. I know you can get socks with grippers on them so they don't slip, but she just doesn't keep them in socks. So they walk around barefoot, and I was like, oh, my goodness, you poor little thing walking around on Grandma's dirty floors. <laughs> so... Uh, I'm going to mop my hardwood floors. I know that's controversial. I know some people will say, don't ever get your hardwood floors wet. I use my O-Cedar Spin Mop. I'm actually using Murphy's Oil Soap. Oh, I forgot how much I love the smell of this stuff, which you are supposed to use on wood. My wood floors really need to be refinished. And if I'm being honest, I mop these floors three to four times a year. So it's totally fine. If you don't want to mop your wood floors with water, then don't. But I do. And uh, it gets them all nice and clean. Having the runner rugs um, by the back door, which is where we always come in, and over by the sink definitely help. But man, these, <laughs> these floors get so dirty. But you can't hardly ever tell. The wood just hides the dirt so well. I never realize how dirty they are until my grandbabies come over and then their feet are all dirty on the bottom. I just got done mopping. I was going to just throw this in the washing machine because I had just started it with uh, um, rugs. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, those rugs were disgustingly dirty. I'm not throwing that mop head in there. Uh, let's take a look at what the water looks like from mopping. I could not believe what my washing machine looked like from those rugs when I opened it. And the water is uh, very, very dirty from mopping my floor. It's all nice and clean now. So if my grandbabies come over uh, soon before it gets too dirty again, at least their little feet won't be black on the bottom. All right, I've washed up my rugs um, previously and had folded them up when I put up the fall and the Christmas rug. So I'm going to put these back out. They're a lighter, brighter color for spring. I've had this for like a year. If I can find the link, I got it from Amazon. It was very inexpensive and it washes up beautiful. And then the one I do put by the back door, wash that one in the washing machine as well. It's a little bit darker um, because we do track in a lot of dirt from the outside. I wanted a little bit darker of a rug here, but it's still got the blues in it that I love. So there are my springtime and summertime rugs laid back out. And here it is the very end of February, and I finally took down my... <laughs> <laughs> Christmas rug. Uh, I got this last year from Hobby Lobby and I had put it up on my counter and I loved it. And these Cosmo stems, I think I got these from Amazon last year. I'm just going to do the same type of arrangement um, that I had last year. It's very springy, very light, very bright, and I love it. I don't do a whole lot of decorating in the kitchen for spring. Uh, just a few touches here or there to bring some life and to bring some spring. Uh, so this is all I'm going to put on this counter. And uh, you, can, you already saw what I did over there. 
and the kitchen is reset. Oh my goodness. It feels so much better in here. My girls came home from school today and they were like, oh, the kitchen is so clean. <laughs> I just have a couple of things on the counter. Viviana's pottery and some seeds that I just recently got from Walmart, but everything looks gorgeous. Uh, the only thing is the flowers that my husband did get me for Valentine's Day, they had to be thrown out. They were starting to stink. I had already changed the water and everything, so I gotta find get some more flowers over there. It always feels so much better when the kitchen is cleaned up. We are now going to head outside and uh, do a little update on some bulbs that I planted. I looked outside and I'm kind of panicking because it's the end of February. We're supposed to get cold again, but I think they're going to be okay. But oh my God, look at, I got a lot of cleanup to do, but look at, I think I planted all the daffodils over here. Oh, I got, I got lots of sprouts coming. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're all over the place. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Wow. They're literally all over the place. Okay, well, right here they are. I don't see any. I don't see any here. Oh, I see one here. I see one here. Oh my gosh, okay. Maybe those are the daffodils because I mixed them all in. I didn't mark where I planted anything. Oh, this is exciting. All right, it's been a couple of days since... Um, I filmed the <laughs> me finding the sprouts. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And they continue to grow. They're, they are literally like all over the place. Um, I mean, not all over, but um, I did look it up and look at how big that one has gotten. Um, the daffodils come up before the tulips. So I'm really hoping, I gotta be careful. I don't wanna step on any of them because there are a few little ones like here's a little baby here I got a little group look at this little group here look at that little groupling of them um and then I noticed oh gosh I hope nobody stepped on that okay um look at this look at this uh, I see no holes where any critters have dug up my bulbs but I don't know where that bulb came from so hoping and crossing my fingers um, that all my tulips come up. I know they are problems for a lot of people that have critter issues. I have no idea if I have voles um, underground, but I don't see any holes dug up in the areas where I planted. I did notice there's two sprouts over here. Um, and I noticed another one. Where did I notice another one? I don't remember now. I thought I saw another. Anyways, anyways, so exciting. So, so exciting. Uh, so hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we'll see some beautiful flowers. So we got the kitchen reset today. Teeny little flower update. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you some inspiration to reset an area of your house. Uh, I got lots more cleaning to do in the house, but man, now I cannot wait to get outside. Uh, I think I'm going to do some seed starting for some summer annuals, which I'm super duper excited about. So anyways, that is the video this week. I appreciate you so, so much for joining me. I'm going to see you again next week, hoping to bring back the bonus videos on Fridays um, very soon, but I already told you what happened last week, so there was just no way for me to do it last week. Uh, so anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I don't even remember if I already said that, but I appreciate you. Thanks for spending some time with me today, and I'm going to see you next Tuesday. Have a great day. Bye.